heard a lot about you, and, and I just want you to repeat to me why, why you've chosen to have your finger signal be a pulse that's not a movement. Why, why didn't you want it to be a movement? Well, it wasn't deliberate. Um, I was just, I was trying to get a response, and I started getting a pulse, and then I realized the more I kept going, and this pulse remained, that that was probably a good thing, because part of the problem that I have um, with my illness is that my muscles twitch. <laughs> yeah. And often, often in my fingers and my arms and hands. So I was, I was, I was even thinking that, that maybe I wouldn't know if it was a real signal or it was just one of my twitches. Yeah. Right, so this way the pulse is it's, not one of the symptoms of the disease. And no, it's not. So you know that you are getting a signal when you get that pulse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now that's something that everyone should take note of watching this. And, you know, this uh, movie is one of the things it is, is it's your introduction to the people who will help you who are members of the Cure Drive. So they're, they're getting to know you by watching this. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, uh, tell me your name. It's Kathleen McKeon. Okay. And how did you know it was real? Um, well, I wasn't sure. And so I kept kind of going back to it and, and looking at it and no, I mean, then, um, uh, what, I'm, what I'm actually asking is, why didn't you just dismiss it? You looked at it and you go, well, I don't know what this is, and why, why didn't you just, you know, bomb away and be gone for, forever, you know? What? Because, I, because I believe in, in um, I do believe in, in the ability to heal oneself, and I'm very open-minded. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so... You spent months sort of like looking at it. That's right. And you never, did you try to get a signal during those months? I actually did, once. Once during all those months you tried to get a signal? I did, and, and I got one. And you got one. And, what, and, what, and it, what happened inside of you when you got that signal? It was, uh, it was kind of exciting. It was, um, I was, I was looking at one of the videos and I, I just uh, tried, I don't even remember what I asked, but I just tried, and then um, I got a little, it was actually a little twitch, but it was not a normal, it was just right in the tip of my finger. Like when that oh. hope? I think I felt hope, I felt hopeful. Um, that, you know, maybe, you know, there was really something to it. And, how, and then how long was it between that ray of light and the next time you tried to get a signal? Uh, probably a few weeks, just because I got distracted and I've been in, I've been in my own head about this. Um, go, I've been going to a lot of doctors, I've been trying to sort it out. Um, I got, you know, I got, I got back into that again, so, um, Well, you know, yeah. you're, you're very much like everybody else. Mm -hmm. I think that most of the stories that I hear, including my story, are variations of your story. Yeah. My story is definitely a variation of your story, and, you know, sometime I'll tell it to you, but I will say that, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> there was a point where I just went forward and nothing could stop me. I hit a point where I just got, I was like the boulder roll, I hit a tipping point. The boulder rolled off the mountain and the, this round boulder just started rolling down this mountain and creating momentum. And once it was rolling it hit other boulders and the result was the cure drive. Right. But, but, the, but the gap of time was, you know, a while. And you know, Kathleen, when it really started was when I was in 
I was living in the Florida Keys on Sugarloaf Key. I had, I had a house that had been the cover, sto the cover story of House Beautiful. That was my house. With a view of the flats like you couldn't believe. That was, that was what was on the cover, was the, the view off the dock, on the, out into the flats. And I was there and I said, this is a tomb and I'm going to die here if I don't get out of here. Right. And I got out. I did something about it. I didn't just sit, because what a lot of people do in the Keys is they, they see it, but they don't go, you know. And, right. I, and I, I left that house. And I went to, and I said, I know there's something that I have to find. You know, I did seminars professionally, and everybody loved them and got a lot of value out of them. And, but I said, there's something out there that I have not yet found. I had no idea what it was, but I'm going to go looking for it. And I moved, I had a house in San Francisco and one, I had a loft in New York. And, but I went to San Francisco and I, and I lived there with Franny and Greg. And that's where I started to find it. It was, you know, it was given to me because I looked for it and you were looking and why you could recognize it. I'm sure that you are one in a thousand who looked at that and you just didn't go away, even though you had no, right. you had no experience, no idea why, but you just didn't go away. Right. My God. Well, when you, f so, so in other words, when you f jumped in and finally started getting signals and committed yourself to going forward, it's just because the distractions sort of cleared out of the way and you got, is that what happened or did something else happen? No, I think, um, I'm trying to remember, I guess it was about five days ago, or no, it was, um, Maybe it was a longer week. than that. Maybe a week or two, because I, I remember when you started talking to Greg about a couple of weeks right, ago, probably. Right, right, right. Um, I don't know, it was just a, a feeling, like I just, okay, I need to, it, there was a weekend that I spent just looking on YouTube at all the videos. Um, I guess it was the weekend before last, and I just decided that Sunday, you know, I just need to do this. I just need to try this and do this. Um, I don't know. It was just it just clicked. I guess it was the right time. Yep.